right, coaches, the preseason's over. Some things worked, some things different. Now what? Stay tuned. All right, coaches, this is Coach Coldar coming to you again from 92 Mesh Group. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining me again tonight on the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about what to do after the preseason. And listen, if this is something that you're interested in and the videos that you've been liking and subscribing to or something you want me to continue to do, I would really appreciate it if you could join the, uh, the community if you haven't already and, and subscribe and hit the little bell down there next to it so you get the notifications. Um, we're growing vastly. We've, we're almost to 1,500 subscribers in less than three months. And we're really, really excited about that. Um, let's jump right into the video, though. So the preseason's over. We all had an idea of what kind of team we were going to be or what kind of team we think we're going to be. And now we've had a couple of scrimmages or, uh, you know, camp practices or OTAs, however you want to call them. Um, and we're realizing what we kind of really are. And so there are four things I kind of wanted to talk about that you need to do after your kind of preseason is over. And the first one is to revisit your depth chart. Um, I think before you make any changes, you have to look at your depth chart and say, okay, this person is hurt, this person didn't come out, this person didn't pan out, this person may need another year on the JV, this person really surprised us. Um, but as a staff, you need to get together and say, this is what our depth chart looks like right now. Um, I think that's very, very important as you move forward. The second thing is revisit your practice schedule. If you haven't been successful doing certain things in scrimmages or don't look really good in practice, go back to your practice schedules. Say, how much time did we actually put in on working on screens if we're not really good at screens? Or if we can't throw the football very well, is it because we're not throwing the football? Or we're not running the football well because we're not running the football enough in practice. I think that's really, really important. I would also want to emphasize that if you're not having focused practices, and I will put, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I have a video that talks about having focused practices. I think that's the best way to, uh, to really get to that excellence of execution. And uh, I'm kind of showing my age with our thumbnail. I really thought about Bret Hart today, you know, wanting to strive for that excellence of execution. And I think that's really important. So you really got to focus your practice schedules. Um, the third thing is find your identity. What are you going to be this year? And I would say this. There was a, a long discussion on Facebook um, between uh, some wing tee guys and some air raid guys, and it kind of got heated. And I, I think the, um, the, the, the misconception was is that Coach Mackey, who had said something about some wing tee stuff, um, was being disparaging, and I don't think he really was. I think what he was saying was is that, hey, listen, in our offense, we have answers to this, this, and this, and this the same way you guys do because, you know, a lot of people think wing T is if, then, and air rate is just, you know, willy-nilly. Um, I think you really have to figure out what your identity is, and if you have an offense and not a system, that's where you get in trouble. And so here's what I would say to you. What is your identity this year? Sometimes we're a better shallow team than we're a mesh team. Sometimes we're a better zone team than we are a dart team. Sometimes we throw screens better than we throw, you know, slants. You know, so you have to have a system where you can take stuff in, take stuff out. And don't forget that. Take stuff in, take stuff out. Or put stuff in, take stuff out. Remember, CBA, three really, really important letters. Probably the, the second most important three letters as far as football is concerned um, for this year. The other one is GTF, get to Friday. That's the most important. If you can't get to Friday, well, it doesn't matter what the CBA is. But that cost-benefit analysis do you have the time to run all of this stuff you're running? If you have 12 running plays and they all hit the same gap, what's the point? Okay? And so I think that's really, really important as we move forward. You know, find your identity. What are you good at? And then, and then build around that. And you learn that by looking at your depth chart. These are the guys who are healthy. These are the guys who are producing. How do we feature them? We look at our practice schedules and say, hey, where can we improve? Where can we not improve? You know, uh, or where are we spending too much time and not getting the CBA out of it? And then look at your finding your identity. That's really, really important. What do we want to get good at? What were we good at? What can we feature and how can we feature that? If you got a lot of wiggle slot guys but you don't have a lot of fullbacks, Hey, don't be 20 personnel, be 10 personnel or 11 personnel. Or if you got some H bags but you don't have a lot of slot guys, be a 20 personnel instead of a 10 personnel. Figure that out. Figure out what your mix is. Can you 
Can you rest certain guys by putting other guys in so you don't have as many people going both ways? How do you maximize your personnel? Very, very important when you find your identity. And then lastly, and probably the most important, how do you get to the magic rep? Now it's time to strive for that excellence of execution. You should know right now what plays are working and what plays aren't. Just ask your quarterback. You really want to find out what you're good at or what he likes? Let him call practice one day. Give him a 15-play script and say, hey, you got all 15 of these plays and call them. And you will see what he's comfortable with, and then you will understand where you're going. But that magic rep is so important. You know, I think it goes back to that old Bruce Lee quote. I think I've said it before, you know, he never, he never cared, uh, was scared of a man who knew 10,000 kicks. He was scared of that man who knew one kick that had practiced that kick 10,000 times. Same thing. Find that magic rep. Get good at what you are. Find out what your identity is. Look back at your practice schedules. Make sure you have a, a focus in every practice. This is a zone day. This is a power day. This is a cross day. This is a, a shallow day. Whatever it is. So that you can get good. You can strive for that excellence of execution. Because in, in that Facebook post that we're all talking about, that's the bottom line. The bottom line is, are you good at what you do? Because it's always going to be about what the kids can do on the field. And that's going to be what makes you a successful coach or not. Hey, listen, this is Coach Cole Tharp again. I really appreciate you guys spending time with me on the 92 Mesh Group channel. Check out our webpage, 92meshgroup.com. We've got a lot of good stuff on there right now. I'm about to drop the middle school youth edition of the Total Air Raid System this weekend. Almost about three quarters away getting it uploaded and everything like that. I really appreciate you guys letting me know there was an error in one of the... Uh, um, one of the programs that was not allowing people to order hats or to subscribe the other day, uh, but I've got all that figured out now, and it, and it should be it should be taken care of. There wasn't a data breach or anything like that. It was just a, a button that I had clicked and didn't know. Once again, I'm a football coach, not a web designer, so I really appreciate you guys shooting me a message saying, "Hey, coach, I wanted to do this, but I couldn't." So we do have some of the hats left. We have some T-shirts, a few T-shirts left. Um, if you want to get that bundle, that lifetime. Um, Access for $79.99. Check that out. That's a really, really good deal. You get a free playbook, free t-shirt, lifetime access to the total air raid system, which also includes the middle school system. Now, as long as you're in the total air raid system, anything that gets added up, you're in. If you're just interested in the middle school youth system, we have a special right now. It's $25. You get that and access to the middle school playbook. Really excited about that. There's you know, seven or eight videos. It talks about basic running game, basic passing game, how to how to implement it in the middle schools and, and some things like that. Really, really cool. Um, so what up? Got a couple other things working on. Um, working on our book. Our book is almost finished and um, still, still trying to schedule up and get Damon West on the channel. Him and I have talked a couple of times. He is all over the place. If you don't follow him on Twitter, check him out. The coffee bean is blowing up. If you haven't read Coffee Bean, it's 71 pages. Take it with you on the next road trip. You'll have it done before you get there. It took me about 35 minutes and I'm not the best reader in the world. But hey, listen, I appreciate it. Strive for excellence of execution and always. Spin it to win.